This lecture is brought to you by two muscles, the gastrocnemius and soleus. These muscles are located in the calf area. The gastrocnemius has two heads, and those two heads cross the knee. The soleus is a simpler muscle. It's deeper, and together both the gastrocnemius and soleus attach to the Achilles tendon. These muscles generate very large forces. Together they can generate up to 10 body weights. For example, if I'm jumping and when I land, the forces in the muscles can be very high. In fact, enough to pick up the back of a small car. 10 body weights, if I weigh 150 pounds, that'd be 1,500 pounds in these muscles. Clearly capable to generate uh, enough force to lift the back of a small car. Now, gastrocnemius is a more famous of the two muscles. If you watch somebody walk from behind and you look down at their calf, you're really seeing the, the gastrocnemius, the medial head and the lateral head. One thing interesting about gastrocnemius is that it's primarily fast twitch muscle. It's called into action when you need to move rapidly. It fatigues more quickly than the soleus muscle, which is primarily slow twitch muscle fibers. It can help you stand and keep your erect posture all day. So gastrocnemius work together with the soleus during walking and running. What I'm showing you here in the video is an indication of when the muscles are on. When your foot strikes the ground in running, both of these muscles are on, strongly activated, and generating large forces. These forces generate forces, ground reaction forces in the ground that hold your body weight up and propel you forward. Now that's when everything's going right. When things go wrong, there can be trouble. Here's a picture of a young man with cerebral palsy and he has a gait pathology. It's called Aquinas gait because he's walking up on his toe. Normally we contact the foot with the the heel, but here you see his foot is contacting toe first, and that's likely because his gastrocnemius is either too tight or overactive. So he's a candidate for a lengthening surgery to relax the excessive tension in his gastrocnemius. I mentioned these two muscles are large and generate large forces. They also consume lots of metabolic energy. If we want to save metabolic energy during walking, one way to do that is to try to replace some of the forces that these muscles generate with a spring. Steve Collins, a colleague here at Stanford, has generated this really clever device where he is in, uh, inserting a spring in parallel with the muscles, and this spring generates force that can relieve the excess metabolic cost associated with walking. So that's gastrocnemius and soleus. Just a brief overview. We'll see more and more as we move through the lectures about what these muscles do. Look forward to that.